no one is uncovering the real reasons and business implications of the TikTok ban. Look at these numbers. $5.8 billion. $99.6 billion. $150 billion. Each of these numbers corresponds to a different thing. What? One is the value of the International Space Station, which ranks in the Guinness World Records as the most expensive object built by men. Another one represents the cost of running a presidential campaign in the US in 2020. A third number represents the annual 2023 total budget for intelligence in the US. Did you get it right? But what does this have to do with TikTok being banned? Well, TikTok in the United States has been valued by the Financial Times in $150 billion and by other experts in $100 billion, amount that is significantly higher than the whole intelligence budget for the US in 2023. The plot thickens as we are being told that the ban on TikTok is for national security reasons. What's really going on? What are they not telling us? You are watching the Business and Tech Stories YouTube channel. This episode discovering the untold truth about the TikTok ban. Before we dive in, I want to make one thing clear. My personal allegiance firmly lies with the principles of democracy and freedom. And there is no world in which I would choose to live under anything less than democracy. This video is precisely guided by my appreciation for Western values, which could be underscored by the TikTok ban. So first, let's look at what brings us here. The Bill of the House of Representatives. On March 13th, 2024, the US House of Representatives took a decisive action against TikTok, reflecting nationwide concerns over data privacy and national security. The bill, known as the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act, was introduced and passed with an extraordinary sense of urgency. Aimed at combating the potential threats posed by foreign adversary controlled applications like TikTok, the legislation has garnered significant bipartisan support and backing from the White House. Under this new legislation, it becomes unlawful for any entity to distribute, maintain, or update TikTok within the US if it remains under the control of its Chinese parent company, ByteDance. The bill mandates a divestiture requiring ByteDance to relinquish its control over TikTok, effectively forcing a sale or facing a ban within 180 days of the act's enactment. Exemptions are in place for applications that undergo a qualified divestiture, meaning they can prove they are no longer controlled by a foreign adversary. The bill also outlines strict enforcement mechanisms with significant civil penalties for violations, emphasizing the U.S. government's commitment to safeguarding national security. The divestiture mandated by the bill requires ByteDance, the Chinese parent company of TikTok to sell or otherwise relinquish its control over the social media platform's operations in the United States. This process is aimed at eliminating any foreign adversary's influence or control over TikTok, addressing concerns about national security and data privacy. The goal is to ensure that TikTok's U.S. Operations are completely independent of ByteDance, thereby mitigating the risks associated with the app's Chinese ownership. This divestiture must occur within a set time frame, 180 days from the enactment of the bill, failing which TikTok could face a ban in the US market. The divestiture process is a crucial element of the legislation, intended to safeguard American users' data from potential exploitation by foreign entities. But there is something that speaks louder than words and louder than national security Security concerns money, and money talks loud. If IF you believe this is all about national security concerns, think again. Did you know that, while Facebook and YouTube remain the main contenders in the use of social media platforms in the US, the only platform that has seen a significant rise in users since 2019 is TikTok, with a rise of over 15%. If we look at this data by age categories, 62% of young people from 18 to 29 year old use mostly TikTok. What if I told you DanceBytes, the parent Chinese company of TikTok, is not really the parent? Let's unveil the ownership structure of TikTok. Contrary to this widespread belief, ByteDance only holds a 20% stake in TikTok. This piece of information alone helps to unravel a story much more complex than the straightforward narrative of Chinese ownership. Who owns the rest? A significant 60% of TikTok is owned by international investors. These include some of the biggest names in global finance, like SoftBank from Japan and Sequoia Capital from the United States. This diverse group of stakeholders represents a wide array of global interests, 
challenging the notion that TikTok is merely a puppet of Chinese geopolitical ambitions. Adding another layer to this complex ownership puzzle is the 20% stake held by TikTok's employees through stock options. This stake gives the very people who work at TikTok a direct interest in the company's success, further diluting the control that ByteDance, and by extension China, has over the platform. Wow. The implications of this diversified ownership structure are profound. It challenges the simplistic narrative that TikTok is a direct arm of the Chinese government, used for espionage or propaganda. Instead, TikTok emerges as a global entity, with a vested interest from a variety of global players, each influencing its direction and policies. Also, this marks for a relevant precedent that 20% of ownership is a significant stake over a company. If each company that owns over one-fifth of a big tech was forced to divest because of national security interests, I am not sure which companies would still remain in the market. This becomes more dangerous if the belief is that 20% of ownership is enough to have a decisive influence on a company disregarding any voting rights. This would have huge monopolization implications. EMOTIONAL DAMN IT! Even when Bell South was divested into Baby Bells, the predominant theory that structure influences behavior required a much higher percentage than 20%. Which brings us to our second unveiling, monopolization. TikTok carries a jaw-dropping price tag of $150 billion. This valuation places it among the elite in the tech industry, comparable to major acquisitions like Twitter post Elon Musk's takeover. But what does this mean in the context of a forced sale or ban in the US? With such a monumental valuation, the list of potential buyers narrows significantly. Only the biggest players in the tech world, such as Microsoft or Meta, could feasibly entertain the idea of purchasing TikTok. This exclusivity raises questions about the competitive dynamics and the risks of further consolidating power within the tech oligarchy. The prospect of TikTok's acquisition by one of these tech giants brings us to the contentious issue of monopolization. The tech industry, already under scrutiny for anti-competitive practices, could face intensified regulatory and public backlash if TikTok merges into the fold of an existing tech behemoth. The market has responded keenly to these developments, with Meta's stock price notably increasing by 5% following the bill's approval in the House. Yet, despite the long-standing investigations into the monopolistic tendencies of the tech industry, the Federal Trade Commission has remained conspicuously silent on this potential market upheaval. Now, let's dissect the national security concerns surrounding TikTok. Is the fear of data espionage by China a substantial threat, or are we witnessing political theater at its finest? Let's delve into the facts and fiction of this heated debate. I'm here to tell you right now. Congress has raised alarms that TikTok could be a Trojan horse for China to spy on Americans. In response, TikTok formed a partnership with Oracle to store U.S. user data in Texas, ostensibly keeping it on American soil. However, the digital age truth, known to every tech-savvy teenager, is that data isn't confined to physical locations. The idea of a singular building housing TikToks or even ChatGPT's data is a misconception, highlighting the complexity of digital data sovereignty. Data is, a, is in the cloud, not in a physical location. Let's not overlook the Cambridge Analytica scandal, where a British firm manipulated data from an American company, Facebook, to sway US elections. This incident illustrates that data exploitation and influence are not bound by geography. Thus, the argument that TikTok poses a unique national security risk because of its Chinese ties becomes less convincing when viewed through the lens of global digital interconnectedness. The term national security often carries weight in political discourse, granting policymakers a carte blanche to enact restrictive measures. However, when such actions threaten the sanctity of free speech, enshrined in our First Amendment, they warrant rigorous scrutiny. The claim of national security should not be an unchecked justification for impinging on fundamental freedoms. Turning to TikTok's algorithm, which remains under ByteDance's control, the concern is that this 20% Chinese-owned entity could manipulate content to undermine US interests. While the potential for influence is undeniable, the reality is nuanced. Identifying what constitutes anti-U.S content is complex, especially in a politically charged environment like an election year, where domestic divisions often eclipse foreign influences. So how big is this Trojan horse after all? 
Turning to TikTok's algorithm, which remains under ByteDance's control, the concern is that this 20% Chinese-owned entity could manipulate content to undermine U.S. interests. While the potential for influence is undeniable, the reality is nuanced. Identifying what constitutes anti-US content is complex, especially in a politically charged environment like an election year, where domestic divisions often eclipse foreign influences. So how big is this Trojan horse after all? What? Let's dig deeper and go to the US-China trade economic saga, a tale of debt, land and trade. Let's start with a staggering figure. China holds over $805 billion of US debt. This immense financial stake makes China not just a creditor but a pivotal player in the American economic landscape. Ask yourself how this debt holding empowers China and what it means for the US economic landscape. Moving to the ground, China owns around 380,000 acres of US land. This significant footprint in American soil symbolizes China's strategic interests and investments in the US economy. This land ownership raises questions of sovereignty, economic influence, and the broader implications for U.S. national security. In fact, China owns more land in the U.S. than Bill Gates does. Finally, as the third largest consumer of U.S. exports, China's role in American trade is undeniable. The flow of goods and services between these two nations is a cornerstone of their economic relationship. And let's not forget China's economic strategy extends beyond American borders with significant strategic company acquisitions in Mexico, Canada, and throughout Latin America. The interplay of debt, land, and trade between these economic superpowers shapes not only their bilateral relations, but also the global economic landscape. Under these circumstances, the ban on TikTok could mean poking the bear. Because if the US really wanted to aim for a ban of China over national security, there are so many better places to start. Real places, places that cause world economic recessions if China would drop the US Treasury bonds. Now, we analyze that the US missed the mark. The founded us anger towards China has been completely been misfocused, emotion over reason. Let's zoom in on the congressional testimony of TikTok CEO, Xu Zichu. Xu Zichu faced a barrage of questions from US lawmakers, primarily focused on his Singaporean nationality, rather than substantive issues related to TikTok's operations. This intense grilling was less about unearthing facts and more about signaling concerns over TikTok's Chinese connections. The hearing skirted around pivotal questions that could have shed light on TikTok's global impact, such as the specifics of TikTok's algorithm, data usage and sharing practices, revenue details and its governance structure. These areas are vital for understanding TikTok's operational and ethical landscape. The irony in this inquiry was stark. Focusing on Chu's background, the session overlooked key areas that could substantiate concerns leading to the ban. After the inquiry, all I can really say for certain about TikTok after the Congress session is that definitely its CEO is a Singapore national. Now let's expand on TikTok's ironic response to the US ban. Dive into the one element that supports 100% of US claims, which was TikTok's almost cinematic reaction to the looming US ban, a story of irony, digital activism, and unintended admissions. Let's unravel the hilarity and paradox of TikTok's strategy to combat its ban narrative. TikTok, in a twist that would make Shakespeare chuckle, decided to send a push notification to its millions of users, urging them to contact their congressional representatives to voice opposition against the ban. The result? A tsunami of calls and messages flooded the phones of Congress, many voices belonging to the vibrant chorus of high school students. Here's where it gets deliciously ironic TikTok, accused of being a puppet master for China's influence, essentially pulled the strings of its vast user base to create a wave of political activism. By mobilizing its users to flood Congress with calls, TikTok inadvertently showcased its persuasive power on American soil, turning the accusation of influence into a self-fulfilling prophecy. Imagine the scene in Congress phones ringing off the hook, inboxes bursting at the seams, all thanks to a single notification from TikTok. Lawmakers found themselves listening to a chorus of American youth, many of whom were probably skipping homework to partake in this unprecedented act of digital democracy. The scale of response was so overwhelming, it bordered on the absurd, this spectacle raises a pivotal question if TikTok can mobilize such a massive response over a potential ban, what does it say about the platform's capability to shape public opinion and political action? 
The very act meant to counter claims of manipulation ended up demonstrating TikTok's influence, offering a paradoxical proof of its power to sway American users. Now for the paradox of the US reaction to TikTok, have you considered what its implications are? The US reaction to TikTok might just be a classic case of, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> First up, let's talk about freedom of speech, the cornerstone of American values enshrined in the First Amendment. This principle is so sacred in the US that it allows even the most fringe groups to exist and express themselves. Now enter TikTok, a ditto platform where free expression runs wild and suddenly the US contemplates a ban? Oh, the irony. China's approach to international media is no secret. They've got a tight grip on it, ensuring nothing unpatriotic slips through the Great Firewall. American companies often hit this wall head-on in the Chinese market. But here's the twist if the US, the land of the free, decides to ban TikTok, aren't we playing the same game as China? Talk about a plot twist. By contemplating a ban on TikTok, the US is at risk of mirroring the very practices it criticizes. It's like saying, hey, we stand for freedom, but only when we like what's being said, this scenario reeks of hypocrisy and challenges the foundational American ethos of free speech and open discourse. Is there a middle ground in the TikTok ban saga? Across the globe, a nuanced strategy emerges. Nations like Canada and Australia have found a middle path, imposing TikTok bans selectively, specifically within government devices. This targeted approach aims to mitigate security risks without stripping the general populace of their TikTok joys and woes. In this international dance, the ban isn't blanket but calculated, applied only to the official devices of public officers. This method acknowledges security vulnerabilities while preserving the digital freedoms of the wider public. Yet, this balanced act might not satisfy the hardliners in either the US or China, each entrenched in their stance over TikTok's broader implications. All right, tech enthusiasts and digital warriors, before we part ways, hit that subscribe button and shower some love on this content. Especially if you're weighing the prospects of diving into TikTok for business or eyeing the stock market's pulse. Wondering about sustaining your livelihood through TikTok videos? My two cents. Spread your talents across platforms to cushion against the unexpected. As for investing, both eyes should be glued to how swiftly the bill breezes through the Senate. It's the beacon guiding your investment ship. And don't forget to monitor the stock market's heartbeat, especially those poised to snatch up TikTok's 20%. Expect a roller coaster of stock forwards and future options that might just redefine market dynamics. You bet I'll be watching, analyzing every twist and turn. Join me on this journey, stay informed, and let's navigate these intriguing times together. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep watching. Thanks for tuning in.